Good afternoon and welcome to How Google Cloud AI is Matching Employers with the Right Talent. My name is Jordi Kitchen. I'm the Group Product Manager for our Cloud AI solutions in the talent space. I'm going to talk today about what Google's doing in the talent space and some product announcements that I'm excited to share with you. We're going to cover three areas. First, we'll talk about Google in the talent space. Then we'll spend the bulk of the time on Cloud Talent Solution, our new brand and product for all our AI solutions in the talent space. We'll go in depth on two areas, job search and profile search. Job search was formerly known as Cloud Job Discovery, and it's our job search as a service. Profile search is our newest offering now in beta, and I'm excited about that section in particular because we have four great panelists. We have Joe Essenfeld, the CEO of Jive, Steve Locum, co-founder at OpenLogix, Short Gehring, global VP of talent acquisition at Johnson & Johnson, and Jason Weingarten, the CEO of Yellow. We'll then save a couple of minutes for takeaways and questions at the end. Let's get going. Now, many of you in the audience work in the talent industry, and I've been working in this space for a while. And I'm particularly excited about it for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's absolutely massive, with more than 4 billion workers or job seekers and 100 million employers. So we have the opportunity to have a positive impact on the vast majority of the world. The other reason why I'm particularly excited about it is because I think that helping job seekers get meaningful employment and helping employers find the right talent to grow is one of the most important things we can do. Now, Google's been working hard in this space for the last while. In fact, in the middle of last year, we launched job search on Google.com. Over the past couple of decades, millions of job seekers have started their search on Google.com. So we worked with leading providers in the industry, folks like CareerBuilder, Monster, Glassdoor, LinkedIn, to bring jobs directly to those job seekers, to add things like commute search, benefits, compensation, information about employers. A month later, we launched Hire, our add-on for G Suite, our applicant tracking system. Many companies were already using G Suite to hire, using Gmail to talk to candidates, using Sheets to manage candidate pipeline, using Docs to create job descriptions. Hire is a fantastic app that brings that all together with great workflow, deep integration into G Suite, great candidate search, and many other features that users love. The section that we're going to focus on today is the middle of the slide. We believe that Google can have a much greater impact working with others than we can alone. So we're going to talk about the cloud services. We launched Cloud Job Discovery in beta at the end of last year. And I'm pleased to announce that it's moving into GA in the coming week. Cloud Job Discovery is job search as a service. And it's used by thousands of customers for their career sites, for their job boards, the front end of applicant tracking systems, by staffing agencies, and by employers directly. I'm excited to announce today that Cloud Job Discovery is expanding into Cloud Talent Solution. Cloud Talent Solution provides a single brand for our existing features and for our long and full roadmap that we have planned for the space. Let's talk a little bit more about what Cloud Talent Solution is. So when I was a teenager looking for a summer job, I would often go and look in a newspaper classified section. Maybe I'd talk to my friends, my friend's parents, hoping I could get a lead. I'd go down to the local employment agency. The state of the industry has changed a lot since then, but so has the workforce. People no longer stay in jobs as long as they used to. You don't leave high school or college and stay at an employer until you retire. In fact, every month, roughly 6 million people in the US change jobs. The value of getting the right person into the right role is high. The cost of getting the wrong person into a role can be equally high. <coughs> Online matching has improved things significantly, but there's still an incredibly long way to go. In fact, in 2015, McKinsey concluded that improving online matching had the potential to improve overall global GDP by $2.7 trillion. We believe that a big part of improving online matching is adding an AI to the process. And we think that one piece of the puzzle is helping by bringing Google search and recommendations technology to others. That's why we're making Cloud Talent Solution available. Cloud Talent Solution is an API. It's got a job search experience. So if you have candidates that you want to bring to your jobs, we have a job search feature for you. If you have recruiters who are looking for candidates, we have profile search. And we have a, a roadmap of recommendations for jobs and profiles to come. <clears throat> it's a private tenant service, meaning that you provide the jobs and the profiles, and only you have access to them. And because it's an API, 
it means that you get access to AI without needing to hire ML engineers or data scientists. Who's Cloud Talent Solution for? Talent, talent Solution is for the talent industry. For software vendors, people that create applicant tracking systems, career sites, job boards, or maybe candidate search tools or candidate relationship management tools, Talent Solution is for them to help them with their, to bring AI into their software. If you're an employer or a staffing agency and you're lucky enough to have your own HR IT department, you can integrate with it directly as well. However, more than likely, you work with vendors. Potentially, your vendor is already using Talent Solution. Over the last year, we've worked with a whole host of leading vendors to build Talent Solution into their software. If they're not already working with us, ask them to. And we have a, whole, a long list of vendors on our website that you can take a look at. <coughs> How does Cloud Talent Solution work? You can think of Cloud Talent Solution as a two-sided matching engine. On one side, we have candidates. On the other side, we have jobs. And we bring the two together with sophisticated matching. With candidates, we need to understand things like work history, education, skills, interests. With jobs, we need to understand things like titles, occupation, location, minimum preferred requirements, compensation. And then we use both curated ontologies as well as deep learning to do the matching in the center. So the service is really about understanding the semantics of the talent space around people, around jobs and employers, and bringing the two together. Let's talk a little bit about the data models or the ontologies that we have. We have a whole host of them that span occupation, skills, education, benefits, seniority, location. And we'll talk about occupation here for a second. We've built these up by analyzing tens of millions of jobs and millions and millions of profiles. An example here is our business development manager. So we know that a business development manager has a number of synonyms or other terms by which job seekers and employers call it. Things like biz dev managers or business development officers. There are other similar roles, similar based on skills, but also people have held multiple roles under different names. Things like a brand manager, business services, or relations manager. It's part of a broader occupation of marketing managers and part of even higher level categories around advertising and marketing, sales, management. It's got skills associated with it, business development being the most obvious, but of course, things that are important like communication and collaboration. <coughs> And we can use these to help recommend and rank jobs so we know that the skills for one are similar to the skills for another, and so those jobs may be a good recommendation. We also use deep learning to help understand the whole talent space. And we're increasingly moving more and more of our services towards this. The way that deep learning works is you take a set of historical data where you know the outcome, jobs and profiles that you know to be a good match or to be a miss. You take thousands upon thousands, if not millions of these, and you feed them through your models, which are represented. This is a deep neural network, with each neural network represented as one of the colorful matrices in the center of the slide. Upon, after feeding through millions of these matches, you train your model until you've got it to the point at which you think it's providing a high quality of service. Then you go and you verify it with your customers, and you begin feeding through jobs and profiles that you don't know a priori if they're a good match or not. As the users use the system, they provide feedback. So you as a recruiter is using the system and you're recommending candidates to them, the system learns. As a candidate gets hired, it reinforces it and says, that was a good match. We should do more of that. If you recommend a candidate and it turns out not to be a good match, that would be something that you can take into account in the future as well, similarly on the job seeker side. So the beauty of deep learning and machine learning is that you don't need to build these structured information as you do with data models at the start, and you can continue to learn as the system is used. Now, machine learning is a fantastic tool for search and recommendations, but it's not sufficient alone. We've been doing thousands of hours of user studies with job seekers of all different types of occupations and types from different geographies. We've been working with different employers and recruiters who go across industries and across roles to understand their needs. We've also been doing significant amount of verification both automated, but also working with our customers to make sure this is working well. And one area that we're working on in particular is inclusion. Now, I'd like to do a little exercise here. And I'd like for everybody in the audience to think of a mental model of a shoe. Just get a picture of a shoe in your mind, and I'll give you a second. All right. Now, if everybody could take a second, if you thought of a sneaker, please raise your hand. 
All right, we have a pretty good representation of sneakers out there. How about people who thought of a high heel? We've got a, we've got a couple of high heels, uh, especially towards the back there. Um, how about if you thought of a sandal or a flip-flop? All right, we, I think we have like five or six sandals. And maybe a Wellington boot. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, frankly. I thought we were going to have one Wellington boot from our local British guy. But uh, all right. Well, what you found there was that we had a lot more sneakers than our other types of shoes. And if we were building an image classifier for shoes, we'd probably have enough information to build a classifier understanding what sneakers were. We would be underrepresented on high heels, sandals, and we might not have enough information for Wellington boots altogether. And the same is true for the talent space. So using historical information to train your algorithms to recommend talent is problematic for a number of reasons. In particular, historical, using historical information often underrepresents certain classes of people. Moreover, you find that, <coughs> excuse me, using historical information, if there were potentially biases in the processes before, you could continue to perpetuate these biases in the machine. Finally, even doing things like removing personally identifiable information from profiles, such as removing names which may be able to infer gender, is often insufficient. So for example, if you leave educational information inside the profile, some education institutions over or underrepresent certain genders or races. And if these uh, educational institutions have people have gone on to specific types of employment, you'll over or underrepresent those matches in the system. So inclusion is a particularly hard area. And Google is doing a lot of work here. And we're continuing to do a lot of work. So that's why we're designing this to be inclusive from the very start. I want to focus on two areas in particular here the two big features within the product, job search and profile search. Job search was our initial offering. Cloud, it was formerly known as Cloud Job Discovery, and it's launching in GA in the coming week. It solves two big problems. On one side, you need to understand the intent of the job seeker. On the other side, you need to understand how employers talk about themselves. So let's talk about the first one. Many sites today continue to use keyword search. And keyword search is problematic primarily because job titles tend to be the combination of two generalized nouns. Things like a truck and a driver combined together make truck driver. Or software and an engineer combined to make software engineer. Now let's take a look at a few of the examples in the middle of the slide. There we have a dental assistant. Now if you're looking for a dental assistant role, you're looking for a very specific role in a dental office. But when you go on a site that uses keyword search, you'll find that there are many more assistant roles with dental benefits than there are dental assistants. And so as you use it, you'll, be, you'll receive many irrelevant results that you have to work through trying to find your dental assistant roles. This will be frustrating. Maybe you'll leave, go to look at another employer or another job board. There's another role, a benefits manager. This is the person that manages benefits for your organization. They typically sit in HR. And you'll find that there are many more managers with benefits than there are benefits managers. Taking it a little bit closer to home, Let's talk about a role working in the front of house at a restaurant. You're looking for a waiter or a waitress role. So you go and you type in server San Jose. Well, it turns out here in Silicon Valley, there are a lot of roles that have to do with servers that have nothing to do with the restaurant industry. You're going to get a lot of things that have to do with databases, SQL, data centers. There's another issue that we call seniority issue, or the second role issue. And in particular, if you're looking for a more senior role, you'll find that your job title is listed in a lot of more junior job descriptions. So for example, if you're looking for a vice president, a director, maybe a CFO, you'll, you'll get return results that are, for example, executive assistant reporting in to the vice president, or financial analyst creating reports for the CFO. So there's a ton of irrelevant results that you have to search through. On the other side, you have the way that employers describe job descriptions, or write job descriptions. Now we at Google are just as guilty of writing bad job descriptions as anyone else. For example, one role that we have is a P counsel, which is your product counsel, the lawyer that you work with to get your product out the door. And LDBP is a learning and development business partner. There's a role at Google called an SRE. They're site reliability engineers, and they're one of our most important roles because they're tasked with keeping up Google's products, including Google.com, 24 hours of the day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Now, SRE wasn't a common term outside of Google, and we were trying to hire a bunch of new SREs, 
and we were finding it really difficult to get applications through our career site. It turned out that nobody was searching for SRE. They were all looking for systems engineers, sysadmins, software engineers. And so we took a look at the logs, we improved the algorithm, and we were able to drive many more applicants to our site. We realized this problem was much broader than Google as well. If you look at the, the titles on the right-hand side of the slide, you can see some interesting ones there. Does anybody in the audience know what a Reckon Asset Prot 1 is? All right. Uh, I didn't know either. So a Reckon Asset Prot 1 is a recovery and asset protection specialist, also known as a security guard at a retail store. <laughs> a PTAM handler is a part-time morning shift person who works in a warehouse. And a project manager three, let's say that I was a new grad and I was looking for a role as a project manager, I wouldn't know whether this was a role for me or maybe it's more senior than a project manager one. So it's problematic and, un to, and hard to understand how employers describe these. Well, Talent Solutions solves this problem by bridging the gap between job seekers and employers. So if a job seeker types in VP, Biz Dev, Bay Area, we know that they're looking for a very senior role, a vice president role. They're looking for something in biz dev, which is probably in partnerships or alliances. And they're looking in Bay Area. It's all backed by Google Maps. So we know that they're looking for something from Marin in the north, San Jose in the south, Oakland in the east, San Francisco in the west. Let's talk about a couple of examples who've had success with this. Marriott is the world's largest hotel chain. They hire more than 100,000 people every year. So their challenges are all around volume and scale. Now, I really enjoyed working with Marriott and the company Jive that was building their career site because we learned a lot about their organization. I've stayed at their hotels, including W Hotels, they're kind of a hip and modern hotel, usually has a great bar in the lobby, and they have a role there called a room stylist. Now, room stylists are known as housekeepers at other organizations, but room stylist is more in line with their culture and their brand. They had a challenge in that they weren't getting many applications for this role, but after they implemented Talent Solution Job Search, they were able to drive a lot more job seekers to it. And it improved their overall process as well. So you can see here the time to fill, the time from at which they posted a role until at which they had a person in that role improved by 17%. Apply conversion improved as well, meaning that job seekers that came to their site were 23% more likely to find a role and apply for it than they had been prior to implementing Talent Solution. Quality of applicant increased as well. So what this means is that for all of the applies they got, when they took into account the number of offers they were extending, they were 19% more likely to extend an officer, offer. So it had a big impact on their ability to quickly and efficiently fill roles at lower cost. Another example is Career Builder. And I'd like to give a big thank you. We've got some of the Career Builder team here with us today. We started working with Career Builder early last year. Well, later last year. Anyway. They, they began implementing our system and testing it out and verifying it. CareerBuilder is one of the original and largest job boards, and in April they moved 100% of their traffic across to Talent Solution Job Search. And they've seen an improvement for job seekers, for employers, and for CareerBuilder as well. They've seen an 18% increase in the number of qualified applicants in top categories. They've seen improvements for job seekers as well, with a 41% increase in actions taken off of safe searches and a 15% increase in the number of views from automated alerts. Finally, they've seen, this is off of careerbuilder.com on their talent networks, which are like career sites for employers, a 40% lift in users viewing jobs on their talent networks. We've been doing a lot more than just improving search quality. We've been adding features that customers have been asking for. So for example, commute search. It's no longer the case that you put a pin on a map, draw a circle around it that you hope approximates how far you're willing to commute, and then look at the jobs within that circle. Now you can, backed by Google Maps technology, specify how you want to get to work, whether it's by car, public transit, walking, biking, how long you want to take, if it's 15 or 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and what time you want to commute at, and you'll find all the jobs within that area. It's available in more than 100 languages, so if you want to search in Swahili, German, Mandarin, or English, we're there for you. And we have featured jobs, which enable employers to specify their most important and urgent jobs they need to fill. On Google's own career site, you can see featured jobs. These jobs drive four times as many applicants, yet they don't, haven't seen a degradation in applicant quality. So it's really helping Google target applicants to specific roles where they need them. We launched developer tools a couple of months ago, 
which enables you to quickly and efficiently integrate with Talent Solution. And we launched it in global data centers, so you can get low latency, high performance search anywhere in the world. Let's talk about profile search. I'm particularly excited about this section since it's so new and it's in beta launching today. As many recruiters will tell you, the easiest candidate to hire is the one you already know. In fact, Bullhorn released a survey earlier this year where they noted that after referrals, past candidates were your best source of hire. Within our own applicant tracking system, Hire, past applicants are 40% more likely to get hired than current applicants. And Google did a massive study across software engineers a few years ago where they found that software engineers who had been initially rejected for a role and were now being reconsidered for a new role were six times more likely to be hired than, past applicant, than current applicants. But there's a real problem. Recruiters don't have adequate tools to search across their talent pools or their past applicants. And the problem is largely the same as job search. You need to understand what the recruiter, recruiter is looking for, the intent of the recruiter. You need to understand the candidate profiles, which to be honest is even harder than understanding job descriptions. And then you need to bring the two together with fantastic matching. Now it's a little bit more nuanced than that. So you'll find the recruiters are, tend to be experts, you know, the professionals in this field and they do this all day, every day. There are sites out there like Boolean Black Belt that help them build these giant Boolean expressions, trying to be a proxy for how candidates may have described themselves in resumes. So if they're looking for a business analyst, they may put together a Boolean expression, something like business or system or systems or requirements or et cetera, and analyst, hoping that that will encompass all the combinations that somebody may have used to describe themselves as a business analyst. This is a screenshot from Hire, which is backed by Profile Search. Here you can see that we're looking for a software engineer, JavaScript, Bay Area. We know that it's a software engineer, so if people had put in software developer, coder, programmer. We know that they're looking for front-end skills like JavaScript. So as you can see in the magnifying glass there, we're highlighting skills that are associated with JavaScript. Things like jQuery plugins, Casper JS, Phantom JS. And we know it's in the Bay Area. So just like on the job search side, we know that it's backed by Google Maps and so it'll find everything in the relevant area between Marin, San Jose, Oakland, and San Francisco. Hire is powered by Cloud Talent Solution. The profile search within Candidate Discovery uses it. Recruiters don't need to type in these giant Boolean expressions. And it also uses proprietary information, information like how candidates performed in the past in interviews to inform the future ranking. Now, profile search has been out for a little while in alpha, now graduating to beta. And we have a number of companies that have been working with us closely both people who have been integrating it into their system, as well as those who have been using it as employers to test it out and give us feedback. And I'd like to welcome Jason, Shord, Joe, and Steve up on the stage to talk about some of their experiences with Talent Solution. Please join me in welcoming them up on the stage. Jason, let's start with you. We just started working with you recently, and uh, you have got some experience with profile search now. Can you talk a little bit about yourself and about Yellow, and sort of what brought you to, to working in this area? Sure, first and foremost, thank you for having me here, Jordy. Um, so I'm Jason Weingarten, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Yellow. Been around for uh, just about 10 years right now. And um, what Yellow does is we help global enterprises, their recruiting teams, um, streamline recruiting operations. So it's primarily focused on campus recruiting, uh, professional CRM, scheduling, a lot of the, the, the recruiting ops uh, heavy lifting. And uh, the interesting part for us with profile search is uh, when you work with large enterprises, they know how to find things very quickly, like Jordy mentioned, where, where they're searching for something in particular. Um, but using our software, they had hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of candidates in a database, and they couldn't explore to go find something. And um, that's, that's where you all have come in and, and we've been extremely excited to, uh, for this partnership. Fantastic. Can you talk about your initial experiences integrating uh, Profile Search? Sure, so um, the crazy part is that uh, our introduction was seven weeks ago. So not seven months, seven weeks. 
Um, and during that time period, we've worked with, with your team to ensure that uh, we've got a good understanding of what exactly it is a uh, profile search could be. Um, meanwhile, we were working with Bloomberg, we were working with Cielo for, uh, through Quest Diagnostics to understand uh, the problems that we were trying to solve. Um, they were, uh, our clients were so excited that they were actually, they spent 12 hours on a Saturday, a beautiful Saturday, um, to test this just because of what we thought it could be. And the results to us were, were staggering. Um, Bloomberg found that 73% of the search results that uh, occurred through uh, profile search were um, much more, they were much more likely to engage that candidate than uh, using what we thought was a, a decent search on our own. Um, so that was amazing. Cielo through Quest Diagnostics for a lot of the positions that, that they're looking to hire was 58% uh, more relevant. So uh, for us, the, the partnership's been great. Um, and again, seven weeks. Can you, maybe you can talk a little bit about Bloomberg and Cielo. I know you mentioned some of their hiring stats earlier uh, to me, and I, I was astounded how much they hire. Yeah, so, so Bloomberg hires uh, 3,000 people a year, um, and typically, and it's a, a lot around media, engineering, software. Um, Cielo, for um, all their customer base, last year did 151,000 hires, um, which I was astounded by. And so um, what's really important is when they're trying to fill roles, and really important critical roles, especially at an enterprise level, um, the ability to get top talent to surface quicker um, helps them uh, helps them get butts in seats, and obviously, when it comes back to the 17% that you talked about, um, some of the stats that Marriott had, some of the stats that J and J shared, um, uh, those are amazing statistics that we're excited to be a part of. Fantastic. So, so where are you taking profile search from here? So it's been a long seven weeks. Uh, uh, no, for, for us, the, the fun part was that Bloomberg and, and Cielo, amongst several others, said, okay, when can we start using this? And, um, and that excitement has actually led us to change our roadmap. So we uh, made some shifts to our roadmap recently where we're going to work to get profile discovery in. Um, I'm expecting it in this year. And we're working um, with our employer advisory board, with Google product managers, to make sure that um, we do that. But um, I, I don't know. I always think we can do better. And um, I'm, I'm hoping we can get something out this quarter. Hey, look, Steve, thank you very much. I'm glad that it's already making an improvement for Open Logix and for Open Logix, I'm sorry. For, that's why I'm going, moving on to the next speaker already uh, for, for Yellow and for your customers. Maybe you can pass uh, the mic along. Thank you. So Steve works at OpenLogix, as I, as I already said. Um, and, and he's using um, profile search in a bit of a different manner. So he's using hire, and profile search backs its candidate search. Maybe you can talk, share a little bit about yourself and your background and also OpenLogix. Uh, sure. Um, I'm a co-founder of also a uh, startup in India called uh, Sumo Payroll which is a cloud-based payroll and HR application. Awesome. Uh, so, um, but anyway, uh, I'm also uh, the CEO of uh, OpenLogix, which is a technology services company which is primarily focused on IBM solutions. So we have uh, around 250 engineers. So we started using Google Hire probably uh, 10, 10 months ago and uh, got introduced to the profile search uh, a couple of months ago when you guys started implementing it part of uh, Google Hire. Uh, it's been really helpful, you know, that, you know. Fantastic. And, and can you talk a little bit about some of the challenges you face in term, at OpenLogix in terms of hiring? Yeah, challenges, uh, typically finding software engineers in our space is really hard uh, because we focus primarily in a very niche space uh, trying to find um, IBM skills. Um, so for us, it, it's always been a challenge finding those Java, Java engineers or IBM skills uh, specifically uh, and that, that we focus on. Um, so the challenge is, you know, uh, it, it's hard to find people uh, that match our requirements. And also, um, a lot of applicants that apply don't necessarily match or, uh, or they, don't, they don't necessarily like the location and things like that. A lot of challenges like that. So, but we have like close to like 30,000 profiles in our, in our uh, database, in our hire database right now. Um, so, so our recruiters, uh, they have uh, access to this pool of resources, but they never reach out to those uh, existing pool of resources. That has been the challenge internally for us. So, so how is it changing now with access to higher end profile search? So the good thing is um, now, now that we have these 30,000 profiles internally, um, with profile search, 
When our uh, recruiter goes to this job and looks at the candidates that applied, let's say you, get, you have a job position called uh, senior software engineer. There are 14 applicants that applied currently to this position. But then job profile search, uh, sorry, uh, the profile search does a recommendation on the top which says, hey, you have another 20 people in your database that match this uh, job. Why don't you look at them? So the recruiters can actually go back into that uh, recommendation list and then uh, find some people. So I'll give you an example of, uh, of a clear win for us recently. There was a, a quality engineer. Uh, she applied for a job a few months ago, but then uh, she didn't take up the role because it was not close to home for her. So, but she's a great candidate. But then recently we had a similar position very close to home. We, did, we didn't even think about her, but we vetted her out, we know her completely. And then um, it, the profile search engine recommended her, her in, in, one, in the list, right? And then our recruiter saw her and said, oh, uh, Melanie is there, you know, let's call Melanie. She already knows us, and immediately it was a hire in one day. Wow. She took up the role in one day, which typically takes around four weeks for us to hire. So that was a clear win for us. So it's helping to speed up your hiring process and saving recruiters time in the process. Absolutely, it saves a lot of time so that um, uh, the recruiters are really happy that they can uh, source more, more, more candidates in, in a less, less amount of time. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad that it's already helping Open Logics to scale and grow your business. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Uh, certainly, uh, we're able to fill more positions lately. Yeah. Uh, thanks to you guys. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you very much, Steve. If you, I'm glad to be here. If, if you don't mind passing the microphone to Joe. Uh, so we've been working with uh, Joe and Shord on Talent Solution for, for quite a while now, uh, first on the job search side and now on profile search. And maybe, Joe, you can start off by talking about some, you know, introduce yourself and Jibe, of course, but also talk about uh, your experiences with Talent Solution. Sure. Thanks, Jordy. Uh, so I'm Joe Essenfeld. I started Jibe in 2008. And I started the business because I just felt recruiting was extremely frustrating uh, on both sides of it, the candidate experience and for recruiters as well. Um, and we ran into this problem where applicant tracking systems were hard to work with. So we built career sites that tried to streamline that whole process. Uh, and we specialized in working with large global complex organizations. Uh, so J&J, &J, FedEx, Comcast, Siemens are all clients of ours where we power their career sites. And we got the privilege of being introduced some, to some new technology that Google Cloud was developing a few years ago uh, that ended up being Cloud Job Discovery and is now Job Search as part of Cloud Talent Solutions. And it was a step change in innovation for our clients. And it really got to the core of why I started Jive. Uh, and what we saw change was that job seekers used to search with a keyword and try to match those words in the job descriptions. I mean, it's an antiquated way to find a job, and it's such a personal experience that they're going through. Uh, when we started experimenting with cloud job discovery or job search by Google, it was much more of a translation. It, it was like the career sites actually understood the context that the job seeker was looking for, uh, and more impressively understood the ridiculous job titles and job descriptions that unfortunately a lot of companies are using and, and have too many legal and compliance reasons to get around them. Um, so when we saw that technology you know, work in testing, we wanted to bring it out to production as soon as we could. We launched that in 2016, and we just have had phenomenal results. Uh, we had a great published case study with J&J. &J. Marriott had great results. Um, Health South talked about theirs as well. Uh, so did FedEx. So it's just been something that impacted job seekers, helping, helping them find jobs more quickly. Um, when we had the opportunity to work with profiles uh, and really solve the double-sided matching problem, that started to go beyond scratching the surface on this huge global issue, where if we can match talent more quickly to jobs, we're really doing what our clients are asking us to. So I was very excited to start testing this early and to get clients like J&J &J to really put resources and invest the effort to find out if it's going to work. Uh, and I'm excited to have Short here to tell you about some of the results that they've gotten early. So Short? Thanks, Joe. Um, so I'm Short Gehring, I'm the Global Head of Recruiting for J&J, &J, and we have the privilege to fill roughly 30,000 jobs for the company a year. And you know, when you work for the world's largest and most diverse healthcare company, who is really going after curing some very serious diseases for the world, our ability to attract the best, most diverse talent to the company is just paramount to the success of J&J &J moving forward. 
And so, you know, what we're all about in the recruiting team for J&J &J is we're trying to, um, to disrupt an industry that really hasn't seen any meaningful disruption in the last 30 to 40 years. If you think about integrated concepts such as resumes and job descriptions and the total lack of transparency that I'm sure every one of us in this room has experienced in previous recruiting processes, it just doesn't make sense. And organizations haven't been able to take a more consumer-specific focus on the way that companies attract talent. And, you know, honestly, that's why we're at j and are so excited about the partnership with Google and with Jai, because what we're doing in this space is we're bringing consumer-like experiences into an area that really hasn't seen that level of focus and, um, and experience in the, last, in the last few decades. You know, we have seen tremendous success implementing um, job search with Google and Jive in the last 18 months. We have seen a 41% increase in qualified candidates for very hard to fill jobs in areas such as oncology and immunology. Um, when it comes to kind of R&D and scientists, some really, really hard to find jobs for us. And the earlier we can attract those people into the company, um, the, the, the level of acceleration in terms of finding cures for, um, you know, for diseases is, is that much more significant. Um, we have been very excited about testing um, profile search um, with both Jive and Google um, because, you know, there's a real frustration of, for our roughly 500 recruiters around the world around the inability for them to find millions of applicants in our applicant tracking system a year. And we are um, f super kind of privileged to get as many applicants into our recruiting system as we do, um, given the work that we do and the company that we are. But it, it's, it's a little meaningless if our recruiters can seamlessly find and identify those indi individuals for future opportunities. And I think in this area where recruiters for years and years have worked with tools that simply don't work well or don't work well together or don't integrate well in the ecosystem, it's a breath of fresh air for recruiters now to be able to interact with tools that actually speak their language and better understand what they need in order to fill jobs much faster. And so, um, you know, when we start, first started using um, Profile Search a few weeks ago, um, you know, with a pilot group of recruiters, just the amount of positive feedback, um, just at a verbatim level, was really, really impressive. Um, there were a ton of examples recruiters gave around, you know, this job I've been trying to fill for roughly 10 months. I've now finally been able to find someone that, cur that, that, that had applied a few years ago. And so it's opening up. This, um, this very rich talent pool that sits currently within our current borders or within our current company walls, and um, it's unleashing kind of that power now to our recruiters. Um, so we're thrilled with, um, with the partnership, and we're even more thrilled with the really meaningful results these products drive for our ability at J&J &J to attract the best talent to the company. Sure, Joe, thank you very much. I, I'm excited to hear that it's helping out Jive and that's helping out Johnson & Johnson already. Um, look, please, I'm, we'll leave some time for questions after this so you can actually ask the panelists. I want to take a second to talk through some takeaways before we move uh, to questions here. So if you want to add AI into your recruiting software or into your recruiting process, Cloud Town Solution is there to help you out. It's a turnkey API, meaning that you don't need to hire your own ML engineers and your own data scientists, but you get access to Google's search and recommendations AI technology. Talent Solution Job Search, now in general availability or coming in the next week, is used by thousands of companies to power their career sites, by job boards and aggregators, by applicant tracking systems to help them attract the right, to get the right candidate matched to the right role. Talent Solution Profile Search, announced today, announced today and now in beta, helps you find the best fit candidates from your existing talent pool. And we're continuing to work with a lot of great companies out there, including folks like OpenLogix, Jibe, Johnson & Johnson, and Yellow, to improve our tools, improve our systems. If you have any questions outside of this, you can ask on cloud-talent-solution at google.com. And if you're an employer that would like to use it, feel free to talk to your software vendor. They may already have it and be able to turn it on. If not, ask them to get in touch with us. Also, you can go and take a look at our website to see the providers that are already using it.